welcome to this lecture. Today we are going to deal with these topics little quickly but in detailed approach. My name is Gunjan Subedi and as always I will be guiding you in this topic with practical explanation and examples when necessary. Before starting, let me kindly remind you to subscribe to My Lean University which is my initiative to deliver free and quality professional education to your screen. In this lecture, I am going to show you how to draw the value stream maps and I will also be teaching you some very important tips building an organized process map with the value stream map. So first of all, I am going to log inside the draw.io and suppose I am going to save the diagram to device. I am trying to create a new diagram. Let me put a name in it. New VSM diagram. Okay. So, I have a panel for drawing the value stream map. At the left hand side, you can see various symbols that can be used to draw the maps. But nowhere here, we find the symbols for drawing the value stream map. For that, you have to go down, click on more shapes and we have to drag the cursor down to business. Here we see the options of clicking the value stream map. So we should click the value stream map here. We see various symbols of the value stream map on doing so and then we click the apply button. After doing that, we see the options for drawing the value stream map also appears. We click on that option and here we see various symbols that can be used in the value stream map. So the first tip that I want to provide you for drawing the value stream map easily is to start with the customer or supplier and the vendors. So you just have to drag. The customer is always at the top right as you already know and you can copy it and make another symbol which is for the supplier and there is a production control symbol over here or we can also choose this symbol as a control center between customer and supplier there is always the production control now we have to join these symbols over here you have to decide how the information is passed between the customers production control and supplier to do that we can select the straight arrow for verbal communication and zigzag arrow for internet based communication so suppose i click this arrow. On doing so, I will also be getting the frequency of order or frequency of communication. We have monthly communication here. So the next tip that I want to give you while drawing value strip map is always join two symbols on the green color of these symbols. If I hover around here, I see that a green symbol is appearing here. So I click on that. Again, suppose I, I try to communicate with the supplier monthly. So suppose I click this symbol over here. The head of this symbol goes over here to the supplier. I make sure that the green mark appears here. And then I'm going to touch the tail of this arrow to the production center. Now the reason why I'm trying to connect the arrows with the green column marks here is because if I later want to increase or decrease the size of this map or if I want to adjust the symbols to some other places, then the rest of the symbols or these arrows will not be disturbed. Suppose here, if I move the production control or if I move the customers or if I move the supply symbol, it won't affect the arrows over here. Third tip, here in this value stream map, you can only see the daily order for manual information or you can see the monthly electronic information. So if I want to have some weekly information over here, we can do that too. For that, you have to go to the general and click on the text. We can type weekly and place this information on any arrow that we like. This is simple. Now the fourth tip that I want to give you is about drawing the process information box. The process information box is here. So while drawing the process information, you should decide how many processes are there and then we can adjust the size of these symbols. 
note that as there may be many process description box in any value stream map what you can do is you can drag one process box over here and since it also contains the information of number of operators you can also drag this and keep these information somewhere inside and then by pressing the control to the symbol and the process box we select both these symbols we then press ctrl c to copy both and then press ctrl v to paste we can then drag this symbol to make the next process symbol again we can do ctrl v suppose i have four processes over here before my in product goes down to the warehouse i can connect these symbols with the pull or push arrow so suppose i select this arrow this is a push arrow suggesting the push symbol and then i can copy and paste this arrow to the other steps as well the next tip is about drawing the inventory for that too you can adjust the size of the inventory symbol and then we also need to write the number of inventories so for that you have to go to the general click on the text and we can drag the text below the inventory symbol uh, after that you can select both the text and inventory symbol press ctrl c and ctrl v to copy and paste and drag these inventory symbols between the next processes also so this is how we do that and then we can combine or uh, give information to these uh, processes from the control center these arrows uh, can be found inside the general pane not in the value stream map so the tail goes here and the head touches on the process window we can copy and paste it for other process also Finally, another important point is showing the timeline. The symbol for timeline is here. We have to adjust the length of this timeline. To do that, we see here the orange symbols. You can drag these orange symbols. Again, let me adjust the process with the help of this yellow line over here. Again, the next tip, the length of this timeline is shorter. So if we want to increase the length, what you do is you go and click on the timeline. You then click the blue arrow symbol over here when you click that you again see one more timeline another timeline can be created and then you try to connect the timeline so we can connect and uh, adjust the spaces with the help of this orange line over here so this is very simple another tip that i want to teach you is about drawing the information box so we draw the timeline here but between the timeline and this processing box there are the information box we can drag it down to draw the information box we hover down to the value stream mapping symbols and we click the data box symbol over here we can click that here the data box is created we can just simply drag down the data box we can then uh, copy and paste all this information to the other process also so we have information regarding the cycle time change over time the best number of number of batches and the equipment availability but to add information inside these boxes we again have to go to the general symbols and click on the text and we can uh, add any text or number that we like finally after filling all this information you can click this data box again and place uh, it uh, somewhere here so we can edit this information and instead of that we can write the final summary information such as tag time total value added and non-value added time cycle time etc so this is how we create a value stream map with the help of draw.io after drawing the value stream map you can go to the file and you can go to the export as and you can export this value stream map in any format that you like suppose i want to export it in form of the jpg image so for that i click the jpg and click on the export so i have exported this value stream map in my device
Before ending this lecture, let me remind you to join my Lean University's premium membership and enjoy a total free access for a limited time inside my Lean University's online library and get tons of free courses, free books and lecture topics on project management, Lean and Six Sigma, operations and supply chain, productive and preventive maintenance, quality maintenance, data science, industry and sales management, Agile and Scrum, Kaizen or continuous improvement and much more totally free no strings attached as we have limited seats only the early subscribers will be given open access inside the premium membership and remember it's totally free please subscribe and share the video if you share the common belief that professional education should be accessible to all